an annual cosmic light show is hitting its peak tonight and tomorrow night. The Perseid meteor shower is considered the best this time of year, according to NASA. The spectacle of flickering light draws an audience each year, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, where we have some pretty good views. Well, let's bring in Bob McDonald, the host of CBC's Quirks and Quarks. And Bob, I have never seen this meteor shower before. I've wondered oh, really? whether I should stay up late and, <laughs> and watch it. So you tell me, is it worth it? I think it's worth it, Ian, because it's a chance to see how fast the Earth moves through space. A meteor shower happens when our planet drives through a cloud of dust in space. Have you ever been driving along and a big dump truck goes by in the opposite direction and it throws up all that dust and dirt that you have to drive through and stones bounce off your windshield? Well, there are dump trucks in space. They're called comets. Comets leave trails of dust behind them as they go around the sun, and that cloud just stays in space for decades. And every August, we plow through one of those. So it's really the Earth that's moving through this cloud of dust. We forget about the fact that the Earth is moving really, really fast through space. We're doing 100,000 kilometers an hour, which is faster than our rockets. So when we run into this stuff, it hits our atmosphere and it flares up, it's vaporized. Now, most of these particles are very tiny. They're only the size of a grain of sand, but they'll flare up bright enough that you get a streak in the sky and it looks really cool. <laughs> Good news in Vancouver tonight, at least, is that we probably won't have any clouds, but basically where and when do I have to situate myself to get the best show? You need two things. You need a dark sky and you need to go out late at night because for North America, the peak is really after midnight. So you want to be out really late and get away from city lights the best way you can. Go to a park, get out of the city, get into the shadow of a building, look to the northeast and you'll see these streaks of light happen once every minute or two and uh, just keep your eyes open for a long, long time. Lay back and take your time. It's, it's worth the wait. All right, well, you are getting me excited about this, uh, <laughs> so it'll be a spectacle, but there's a serious side to this as well, Bob. This is, uh, these showers are also a part of space debris that threatens satellites and the International Space Station, especially those big solar panels, those wings that stick out. They can be punctured by these things. So if a meteor shower is intense, they're warned to turn those panels edge on so that there'll be minimum damage. So not only will there be people on the ground watching this meteor shower tonight, Ian, there'll be people in space keeping an eye out as well. All right, Bob, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, Ian.